Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Guess what? <laughs> I'm going to give my kitchen a facelift. Now, I have a very small kitchen. Well, it is a small kitchen. It's not the smallest kitchen I've ever had, but it is a small kitchen in comparison to uh, the kitchen I had in my old home, which was quite large. So, I it needs a facelift. And here's the thing with my kitchen. It's dark. It's just kind of dark. And um, it bothers me a lot. If you happen to see a kitty cat come up here, that's because my kitty cat is up here. I can't do anything without her. She just, she's so nibby. Ah, oh, <laughs> there's the tail. You see the tail? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you the kitchen. I'm going to show you what I've started to do. And um, it's on a limited budget because actually I don't have a decorating budget. So um, I'm just trying to pull it together and brighten it up as cheaply as I can. So let's take a look at it. I don't think you've ever seen my kitchen. Okay, off we go. Alrighty, this is my kitchen from my dining room entry way here. See, there's the doorway. So this comes into my kitchen from the dining room. And now you may think, well, um, how does she think that kitchen is dark? Because the walls are sort of this cream color. They were like that when I moved in. I've, I've lived in this house uh, for almost five years. It'll be uh, in January of 2020. I will be here five years. Uh, so here's the kitchen. Let me give you an overview. Now I come in from the dining room and here's my, my cabinets. They're very nice cabinets by the way. They're good quality cabinet. Uh, this is my Hold on here and I'll show you this. The gray that you see behind that window, that's my garage. So here is my back door, my entryway. And um, a couple of years ago, I painted this. My older daughter helped me with this. This was quite dark. And um, it, was, it was very, very dark. And so um, I painted. I painted all this here and then it goes down into the basement here and I put some treads on the, um, if you can see this very well, I put some treads on the stairway because my little dog couldn't go up and down without sliding. That's one of the best things I've ever done. And that paneling there halfway up, that was extremely dark and very rough. Once it was painted, it was terrific. It's, we, I, I love it. So this is my entryway down into my basement, and that's my entryway. And I built this coat rack out of some old parts of another dilapidated rack. And then the graphics on the top there, those are from the Dollar Tree. Actually, it's two different graphics. The flowers are one, and then the words are another. And then the curtains I made myself. Um, I, you didn't know it was so handy, did you? And then of course I painted the door so it just brightened everything up. It just looks better and that's a nice yellow paint on the door. Okay, so that's that. But now here's the deal. As you come in, it's just dark. Um, when this afternoon sun shines in, that window, it's very, it's brighter but it's hot, the window here. It's brighter, but it's hot. <clears throat> so I usually have to bring the Roman shade down to keep it from being so warm. I have a, an old vintage table from um, many years ago. It belonged to my late husband's grandmother originally. And then, of course, there's the paneling that comes up partway up the wall, and then the rest is just the wall. Now. This is what I've done so far. They have these, I don't know when this kitchen was remodeled, it must have been in the 80s. 
uh, I am the second owner of this home and the original seller of this house is the original owner and builder so that's awesome and this is a great house built in 1952 so I think they probably redid the kitchen around the 1980s is what I'm guessing because of the cabinetry so they put a suspended ceiling as you can see here let's see and there's beams I don't care for the suspended ceiling I don't know why it's up there I haven't looked that closely but I don't want to do anything with it I, I'm just prepared to live with that because it is what it is but I suspect they did it because of the beams that they put in here and these beams are not heavy by any means they're wood but they were also very dark just the same color as the cabinets and then if you look there's the old sink which is um, actually that's a porcelain covered cast iron and then there's the white cabinets white countertops excuse me uh, and then the floor is dark so it's so dark for me there's just too much darkness here so uh, and the radiator is down here I have hot water heat so I am I will paint that but now here's the deal I put a primer on the beams I used a uh, kills Two is what it's called. I really like it much better than Zenser because it does not smell um, strong. It just goes on better. So I did put a primer on the beams. I did that yesterday. And today I'm going to put on some semi-gloss over the top of that. Now, and you can see here where it goes. I like the look of the beams. I'm just not fond of the the uh, suspended ceiling but it is what it is so we're going with it um, now I have put off doing anything to this kitchen and I always think that painting a kitchen it's painting anything is really a good place to start because if it, it's fairly inexpensive well, it's not cheap anymore but it's fairly inexpensive um, it's a nice fix so, uh, but I put it off because I intend to paint these cabinets, but now here's the deal. The reason I put off painting the cabinets is because I don't want to paint the cabinets because they're dark, but I want to paint them because they're so dark. I want to paint them white. Oh, so, I don't know. That's my dilemma. It's, I, I'm in a dilemma. But, so, I am a person, I have to break off. Uh, projects in small chunks that's how I work and so I decided you know, I, I was talking to my older daughter here a while back and we, she said well maybe if you just start with the beams on the ceiling and uh, see where that goes and I thought you know that's probably a good idea so my project yesterday was putting on the primer my project today is covering it with the semi-gloss white. It's just white, nothing fancy. And by the way, I did buy some uh, crud cutter. See it right there? I bought some crud cutter for these cabinets to clean them up, to clean up the area, and it works great. I've never tried it before, but it's awesome. So, I'm going to finish up the beams today, hopefully, and then, then the next step will be, either tomorrow or Thursday, will be the trim around the doors and the windows. I'll get those primed and then I can get them painted. The, I am going to paint them white. And then the third step will be this paneling. Now here's the deal with the paneling. Everything that was done in this house was done extremely well and was meant to be permanent. So I looked at the paneling, I thought about taking it off, but I'm not taking it off. Um, it's on there extremely well. It is nailed on and I am concerned that probably underneath it will be glued as well. It is good paneling, so I'm going to paint it. 
and just leave it as is and then in the top wall I'll put a nice color um, I'm thinking about I've got I think I have some of the entryway paint left so I'm thinking about possibly using that in the kitchen we'll we'll see uh, but like I said I have no decorating budget now the doors are original in the home and I like this I'm not I'm not painting these I, I'm going to paint the, the woodwork around it, but I'm not going to paint these. Now the floor. <clears throat> the floor is dark. It's fine. It shows everything. But now here's the deal. When I'm doing my cooking videos, you see here, that little area there, that's where I do the cooking videos. That's the all the space I have right there. And then where I'm standing there a lot, you might be able to see I'm where I'm literally wearing off the color on the because from standing there and doing the cooking and then there is a small area here by the sink <clears throat> which has the same problem <clears throat> excuse me so uh, that's that's where the magic happens right there <laughs> so anyway that's what I'm going to do the countertops just to say that the countertops are, I don't mind that they're white, I, I, they are extremely porous, very porous, and they stain so easily. They clean up, but it takes some effort to bring them back up again, and honestly, I don't like it because it makes them look tacky and dirty, and even when they're not. So, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do about them. I will cross that bridge when I come to it. But, overall, it is a nice kitchen. It's not the biggest kitchen, but it is a nice kitchen. And the sinks are old. Um, I don't honestly mind the sinks. Uh, it takes a little bit to clean them up. They're old, they're a little porous, but they can be cleaned up. I would someday like a new faucet, I think, and a new sprayer. Um, I wouldn't really mind that at all. Uh, so, that's what I'm going to do. And I will show you tomorrow, I will show you what uh, the beams look like when they are painted. They look a little crappy now because it's just primer on there. But, you know, you got to get to through the uglies before you get to the purties. Okay? All right. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just see what happens and um, I will show you the end result tomorrow and then we'll get on to the next leg of the project okay okay you guys are awesome I love you and you just remember that little is much when God is in it okay all right love you bye